Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I am doing zodiac energy readings for the right now, Sagittarius. So whenever you see this video, that's when you are meant to come across it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the share or the like, share, and subscribe buttons. That really helps get my channel out there. I'm just getting started. So let's see what is in the ether for Sagittarius. Fiery Sagittarius. Meditate and contemplate. Confidence is your key to success and adjustments are required. All right. All right, Sagittarius. So some, uh, some adjustments are required here. Go into some meditation. Get your confidence back. Something might have shaken your confidence here a little bit. And let's see what the animal spirit world has to say to Sagittarius. I love Sagittarius. They're very fiery, very knowing what they want, who they are. And it seems like you had a big reveal in the last read coming up here. So let's see where that took you, where that energy has taken you. The hey, animals don't want to speak today. There we go. The shark. <laughs> So yeah, you are feeling uh, like some adjustments do need to be required here, Sagittarius, because you're feeling very attacky. You're feeling like you're being attacked too as well. That could go both ways here. So, But the shark is very cunning, very um, smart, and um, you've got this. You are the master at this. So let's see. Let's see. Why do adjustments need to be required here for my sharky Sagittarius? Nine of air, so nine of swords, it's been, you've been up at night, you've been worried, you've been stressed about this new change of yours, and you're in like new waters here, also the eight of air. So look at this progression, and the seven of fire. So we've got the seven of wands, the eight of swords, and the nine of swords. So yeah, it's been stressful. You've been really, really working hard at something. You've been trying to find the right words to say what's going on here, and you're swimming in unknown, unchartered waters here. So that's why adjustments are required here. You're feeling very uncomfortable, very out of balance, and I, we need to find some balance here, something to, to really help you adjust here. So why? What are you thinking about? I saw the tower wanted to pull out there, so why? Oh, and the devil pops out. So, so yeah, some kind of... Uh, attachment some kind of toxic attachment here is going on here and that's why some adjustments are required and you're feeling very caught up in your head about this you're feeling very conflicted about this there's some toxic energy here so you are really keeping yourself tied up here in chains and I'm not quite sure why we will definitely clarify this devil energy but you have some toxic attachment here, something that you are going over and over and over on your in your mind about it. You're almost obsessively thinking about this, Sagittarius. And let's see why. Is this a relationship? Is this work? What is going on here with Sagittarius? The Empress comes out next, so that is Taurus energy, very earthy, very open to receiving and judgment. So yeah, you really are making a judgment call here and I feel like you're doing it to yourself. You're, you're calling yourself out for these toxic attachments. You're thinking, why do I do this? Why do I do this over and over again? It's like the shark swimming in the circles. You know, it's just this repetitive thinking that you have going on here and it's really keeping you up at night. You're thinking about this all friggin' night long. Like you can't let this go. And whatever this attachment is, it needs to go needs to go whatever this is if it's a thought process if it's an addiction if it's uh, negative thinking needs to go needs to go you just need to call yourself out on it and give yourself a break you're also feeling very very sad with the three of swords here so whatever this attachment is here it's just driving you friggin insane like you can't stop thinking about this I don't know if it's a person if it's a place if it's a thing but it is really keeping you up at night. You're worried about it. You're stressed about it. And you keep going over it in your mind over and over and over again. Be the empress here, Sagittarius. Just be receptive to new information coming into you. There's a full moon coming up. It is a lunar eclipse. 
a lot of truths are going to be revealed a lot of this toxicity is going to leave you after that full moon but get your mind straight get a grip here and really start going meditative but but don't quiet your mind down just to think about this thing over and over again find a distraction find a way to not think about it find something good in your life that you can think about that's not this and distract yourself for now if that's all you can do right now is distraction then that's what you do Sagittarius that's what you do we all have these moments we all have these times in our lives where we are obsessively thinking about things and how they should have been and could have been and you really you really are sabotaging yourself here with the eight of swords too as well so this is this self-sabotage card this is you keeping yourself in blindfolds because you're unwilling to let this attachment go you're thinking you can work it out and it's time to just let go of it it's time to let go of the sorrow let go of the loss let go of the rejection um, that this is giving to you this is not serving you well this is absolutely not serving you well so let go of these attachments this negative thinking this I can't live without insert whatever it is here because you can you can there are so much happier days ahead for you there's so much happier thoughts waiting for you and you can live without this you can in fact not only can you live without it you can live happily without it you are just caught up in it you just can't see it yet and king of cups is at the bottom of the deck so get control over your emotions here really start mastering your emotions here and really mend that broken heart you you do have a broken heart here obviously you have broken mind broken heart you're just feeling really shattered right now and hope is just around the corner with the three, with the two of wands here you, you have a decision to make here you really really do do i stay in this energy or do i move on do i get out of this do i move on from this and travel and see something different distraction once again look at something different change your thoughts change your life here literally just mend your heart from whatever this was this was toxic this was this was not serving your higher good here absolutely not you're keeping yourself bound here to something to something so you need to cut those ties you need to imagine yourself just cutting those ties i saw the fool wanted to pop out it's time to start over take a new leap of faith ace of wands so yeah you really are caught up in your mind here this is the heart space here so you do have an idea of how to break this you do have an idea of what can distract you from this and it's something to do with with the past too some kind of relationship some kind of soulmate relationship that goes back a long time that you can turn to for help and that's what you need to do you need to go to this person and you need to say I'm caught up in this I don't know how to get out of this thinking out of this situation and this person will absolutely be there to help you out to give you that helping hand that you've given to them so count on them they are there for you and they want to get you out of this eight of swords mentality they want to get you stop thinking about this and to help you so reach out to them you're going to receive something that helps um, you're going to receive a text message or something saying hey how are you doing and you can be honest with them you can say i'm not doing too well i keep thinking about this and what happened and here's what happened you know and really let them know what happened let them know what you've been through and they're going to help you walk away from it with the eight of cups they're going to really really help you to see the sun again it's been a long dark road for you and the situation anyway and they're going to help you walk away from this they're going to help you find that sunshine once again this is somebody from the past here to help you saying hey i have the answer i know what to do let's get you some help I, the magician definitely wants to come out here so manifest this manifest this new future of yours this new hope this new light this way out there is a way out here there absolutely is a way out here so you just have to find it and you need the help of a friend somebody from your past yeah because you've been wounded the wounded warrior card comes out the nine of wands you've learned boundaries though you've learned how to take steps to remove yourself from this situation that you kept finding yourself in this is a cycle this is a cycle that you kept finding yourself in over and over and over again and you need to adjust you need to step out of that um, way of being and 
use those new boundaries that you've learned use that to help you find your way out of here you are feeling very chained very bound to the situation you're feeling like you have no options like every time you think of a way out that heartache comes up those words come up that situation comes up that addiction to negative thinking that addiction to thinking it's all gonna go back to the way it used to and then you complete that circle of that going back to the way it used to don't do that anymore that's the cycle that needs to end here and find a new way a new way to to soothe and to um, heal yeah with the star card there you just need to heal it you just need to heal your broken heart here and if you don't if you don't take the time to heal this you're going to find yourself in this situation over and over and over again for the rest of your life. So find a way to change this situation. Don't let it happen again and again. It will happen for lifetimes for all of us if we don't break this cycle. If we don't stop, go right instead of left. You know, just take that different turn. Just, just change it up. If you change nothing, then nothing will change. So it's time to change, Sagittarius. It's time to change. Change it up. Don't keep thinking about this over and over again. Just change it up. Just make a different decision. And let's get you an angel oracle card to see if they can help you. Angels, what do you have to say to Sagittarius to help them adjust, to help them change and get out of this cycle that they keep finding themselves in? Different, different faces, same energy same thing so you know the only constant in life is change but we have to allow that change to come in it's scary but it's not as scary as as what you've been through it's certainly not there's always hope there's always a way out so reach out for help time to go the sun sets and rises each day and it is the same with the avenues in your life See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of new beginnings and we are with you through each phase and cycle. See that Sagittarius? You see that? It is time to go. It is time to let this energy go, to stop this cycle and start anew so that you can find the happiness and joy that you friggin' deserve. And listen to the angels with every sunset there's a sunrise so as uncomfortable as change is it's going to serve you so well so let me know let me know and you take care of yourself take care of your thoughts take care of your heart take care of your body it will serve you so well so till next time Sagittarius thank you so much for watching if you like this video please hit the like share and subscribe buttons be kind to each other and be well, Sagittarius. I am sending you so much love and light.